here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me today i am solo i am solo dolo y'all um i'm off and i do not feel good and so i had ordered me some ginger um candy that's downstairs i'm gonna go get a piece and put in my mouth because I feel really nauseous. I feel like it was because I had cereal early this morning. I had cereal at like maybe 6, 6.30 and I don't usually eat breakfast that early. So I'm just going to blame it on the fact that I ate super, super early. But I want to show y'all some new fragrances fragrances that I picked up recently from up at Amazon and I'm also going to be doing a manicure on my nails today. I also want to show you all some new things that I picked up to be decorating my entryway with or I've already started. I have posted some stuff on my stories and so if you do not follow my Instagram go to Amelia G5587 because I always post things that I am doing throughout the day regardless of what it is. It could be pertaining to my kids, myself, my house, or whatever on my Instagram, on my stories. And you can also check out the highlights too if you are interested in purchasing, purchasing some of the same things. But this morning I got on here and I did my skincare routine. I do it every morning, it never fails. It could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, and I am going to do the same thing. I am trying to get these dark spots gone. And if I have to put oil on my face every single day and cocoa butter on my face, every single day then that's what I am going to do but for the most part I have the same skincare routine I was using different at one point and I ran out and I didn't have any issues with the different it's just I ran out and I just started back using my Fenty skin um, cleanser and I also noticed y'all that I have been getting shortness of breath like when I talk I feel like I can't breathe it's just like I have to pause to catch my breath or either I'd be like and I caught myself doing that in a few videos. I don't know what it is um, in regards to why I have been getting out of breath lately. But I showed y'all my skincare routine this morning. I left it very quiet. I'm going to link everything down below. I just wanted to like woosah, kind of like gather my thoughts. I haven't meditated in a while, but at the time that I was doing my, doing my skincare, I was thinking about some of the things that I needed to get done and accomplish throughout the day because I am solo and I kind of want to like pamper myself. And so today I will be solo. Um, I will also be doing a manicure on my nails and just showing y'all some of the home decor that I recently purchased from Amazon. And um, these fragrances that I purchased, I also purchased a new Stanley cup because my husband was like, if you want clear skin, you have to drink water. Y'all know how much water I drink throughout the day? I think I got up last night to use the bathroom 10 times because I drank so much water, just water, water, water. And I know water does help with clear skin and drying up pimples and all of that. And so I was not arguing with him on that. He was, he is absolutely right about that. And so I have been drinking more water and I got my Stanley topper from off of TikTok shop. I'll try to link it down below. And this little jewel came from TikTok shop as well. But in regards to my skincare routine, I have been getting so many compliments. I guess because I had been wearing makeup and I just had been bare face and like people can actually see what I look like. What I will say though is I don't have no eyelashes. I don't have any eyelashes. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all probably can't because they're not there. I was thinking about going to get a eyebrow, a eyebrow and owl, a eyelash lift and see what that does. But I don't want to waste any money. And I am not authorized to wear lashes in the army. And I'm okay with that. I mean... It ain't making me feel no type of way and I don't know how to really put on lashes and so in regards to like the strips I don't feel like I need to be going out to buy lashes just to wear like on a Saturday because for the most part on Sundays I'm chilling I'm at home I'm relaxing and so I already know I'm not gonna wear lashes on a Sunday unless me and my husband are going out somewhere but for the most part we usually chill on Sundays but I don't have no lashes y'all but kudos to the females that are out there rocking lashes and know how to put them on because y'all look absolutely beautiful but let me stop talking about my lashes and show y'all these new fragrances that i picked up from amazon because they were trending on tiktok and instagram so the first one is called yara latafa and it smells really really good my husband got it for me from amazon i think it was like 29 plus tax and it took like five days so he ordered it on a monday did not get here to a friday and then the other one he purchased was honey oud 
and it was $25.99. I can't remember. So usually what happens is I'll put something in the cart and I'll just do like one item. Well, honestly, I'm lying. I will have like five or six items in the cart and then I will go through and like prioritize what I really, really want. And I'll end up getting like one of those items and then my husband will end up seeing something else in the cart that I left and he'll just end up purchasing it. So he got me, this got me this one and he got me this one. And so I was really grateful and thankful for that because when it came, I was just like, dang, babe, you got my perfume that I had in my cart but this one again was like 29 plus tax and this one was like maybe 25 plus tax and the shipping time for both of them were the same I got this one on a Monday came on a Friday and I don't know which day he actually ordered this one but it still took like three or four days for it to arrive now this one smells really not a breath again y'all like <sighs> I don't know what's going on but this one smells really really fruity and this one smells better than this one I could smell this one before I even took it out of the box and I said man this smells really 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 good both of them are actually worth purchasing now the wear time on both of these I would say are three two to three hours and I feel like that's with any perfume I'm not knocking YSL Marc Jacobs none of those other brands in regards to like perfumes but I have noticed that I have been purchasing expensive perfumes like 80 to 100 bucks and they last as far as the wear time as any other perfume that you would get I would honestly say like the body oils last longer and I feel like the body oils last longer because you can smell the oil like on your skin versus when you spray something on your clothes and you are outside or you're going to eat dinner and all of that you can't really smell it once you go outside or once you hit the air now a lot of people have been asking me what I have been wearing and I would just say you know what I have been wearing I'd be like oh y'all a or, or I'd be like honey oud or whatever the case is on Amazon but I have not worn these both at the same time so I don't know what that combination is going to be like but I do recommend y'all getting both of them and trying them out and let me know what y'all think and these will be affiliate links which means I will earn a commission if you decide to purchase from my link or my Amazon store okay so that was the perfumes that I just went over I also purchased a long sleeve white shirt that I have time on the back end after I finish my manicure that I purchased from Amazon. The material is so soft, it's like thick and as long as for tall girls and so if you're worrying about the length of the sleeves then you will be fine but I'm going to go ahead and get all of my things for my uh, manicure and then, and then set everything up and then do my nails and let y'all see how they turned out and so if you are interested in watching this video then please make sure you watch it to the end don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a like and let me know what you think Okay, so this is my setup for me to go ahead and start doing my manicure. I'm gonna go over everything with y'all really, really quick. I am not a professional, so please don't, you know, take what I say and hold it to um, your heart or take it and say, well, she did this and she did that, so this is, has to be the correct way. I have no clue, y'all. I just know I'm at home, I'm chilling, my nails look a mess, I wanna do something to them. I decided to light a candle from Dr. Till's just to feel like I was at the spa to get myself you know in the mood of feeling like okay girl you are really doing your thing by doing your own nails i got this led nail lamp from off of amazon like two years ago i'm not really sure how much it costs but i will link it down below and i have my nail files they have like different buffing sizes like you have one two i think it goes all the way up to seven so that's three four five um six and seven i also have another nail file it is coarse 180 grit and then on the back side it is extra coarse 100 grit i have my cuticle stick i forget what this is called i have my toenail clippers and i have my clear gel polish that i will end off with with um polishing my nails and putting my hands under the uv light and so what i'm going to do is i don't have a bowl that i want to get rid of y'all like to soak my nails in so I'm just going to soak my nails in the sink for like a minute two minutes let them get soft but first I'm going to cut my nails I feel like I'm gonna try to go into the order that the nail salon would do and they always typically start off by cutting your nails first and then soaking them and then pushing your cuticle back um pushing your cuticles back cutting your cuticles um fouling them 
putting lotion and stuff on? Or do they cut your nails and then file your nails? I can't really remember, but again, I'm not a professional, but I'm gonna try and give this thing a try and y'all tell me what y'all think and let me know if y'all are thinking about doing y'all nails as well. It really does not take a lot. And I have had these for like a year, two years. Sometimes when I go in Walmart, I just pick up a nail file um, and I was doing like press-ons and doing my own nails like maybe two years ago real heavy on YouTube and so I decided to pull everything that I had from out of a bag and just keep it real quick and so y'all make sure y'all keep watching and let me know how y'all think I did in regards to how my nails turned out. And so I am finished doing my nails. I cut them first and then I soaked them. I pushed my cuticles back and then I cut the cuticles and some of the dead skin off from around my fingers. If you can see right here, I don't like a whole lot of buildup of skin around my fingers. And even when I go to the nail shop, I be trying to tell them to cut all of the like skin off the side and they be acting like they don't understand what I'm saying, but they still end up doing it. Um, which I really appreciate and I filed my nails and I just basically shaped them round They're really short which I wanted to cut them off anyway because they're still trying to grow back 
properly they're thin and so that's why i haven't been going to get my nails done i haven't got my nails done since january um i buffed them and then i shined them i just washed my hands and now i am going to apply a clear coat it is a shiny gel top coat and then i'm gonna let that sit under the uv light and show y'all what they look like after but so far i feel like they came out looking really nice i'm like right hand dominant and so it was really hard for me to try to do my left hand i felt like i didn't spend as much time on my left hand than i did on my right hand but i just feel like that's naturally what's going to happen um if you are either right-handed or left-handed and so since i am right-handed i spent way more time on my left hand versus my right hand and so i'm gonna do two coats of this and then uh put my nails under the uv light and then do another coat and pretty much that's it i'm going to put some lotion on my hands and i also have some cuticle oil that i did not show y'all in the beginning that i'm going to put on my nails as well and then i'm going to do another coat and i'm going to put some cuticle oil on my nails and some lotion that i got from the actual nail salon that they was get, giving me or giving away during christmas and so that'll pretty much be it for my manicure and i'll show y'all how they turned out and so y'all let me know what y'all think and so this is what my nails look like after i applied the two top clear coats um i applied one coat and then I sat under the UV light for 90 seconds and then I applied a second coat and I sat under the UV light for 60 seconds. I'm now going to put some lotion on my hands and some cuticle oil. This is the cuticle oil that I have been using which I will link down below as well. It's called Modessa Peach Scented Cuticle Oil. It's a daily moisturizer. It helps protect from dryness and provide nourishing moisturizer to your cuticles so let me let that focus i don't know why my camera don't be focusing like it's supposed to y'all but let's see i don't know if the words are just too small but i will link it down below because the camera is just having a really hard time this lotion i got from one of the nail salons that i always go to off of skybo when i go get my nails done it was the christmas holidays and it was giving out like free gifts and the lotion was the free gift that they gave me again my lens okay there it goes it is creation lotion and the scent of olive lightweight healthy and it is fresh and so i'm just going to make sure my hands are not dry rub my hands really good as if i'm like massaging them y'all know how they do at the nail salons they be feeling so good when they rub your hands at the end and then they pop them and they bend them back and they do all of this and then they rub them like this they also do all of this they pull your fingers listen y'all this manicure was what i needed especially because yesterday i was outside in the yard with my husband and phoenix called my name at least a thousand times and so outside of this manicure i need a actual massage and i'm just glad that i had some time to like gather my thoughts and take care of me today i have a bench that's coming in from amazon i'm not sure if it's going to get here before it starts getting dark outside but if not i will show it to y'all or finish this vlog tomorrow so y'all can see what it looked like and how i style it but i got it from amazon um and hopefully it comes before the end of the day before i can close this vlog out if not i'll just you know show y'all tomorrow everything i also have to go fix me some more water because my throat is dry y'all i also have to go take Jaden's car to go get an inspection in the state of north carolina you have to get your car inspected and so this is pretty much what my hands are looking like after i put lotion on them now i'm going to just do the cuticle oil around my cuticles really good show y'all what that looks like putting some oil around those cuticles really good i don't like my hands to be dry so even when i don't get my nails done or do a manicure i still put this cuticle oil on my nails like especially before i get out to go inside my office for work i keep this cuticle oil inside my purse and my little cosmetic bag 
this is what the cuticle oil looks like. Going to rub that in. And this is the finishing look of my nails. I feel like overall I did a good job. I'm not a professional, but based off of how much I paid to go get my nails done, I pretty much did the same thing. And so not really sure when I will be going to get my nails done, but I have not gotten them done since January. And I just don't feel like they spend the same amount of time on your nails based off of how much you have to pay. I feel like they're always rushing. My nails end up breaking. I need to fill in like before the two week, three week time is up. And so I have not got my nails done since January. But this is my nails. They came out looking really nice. And y'all let me know if y'all plan on giving yourself a manicure at home when you are solo dolo or if you feel like you're gonna leave it up to somebody else let me know in the comments down below but I feel like they came out nice and I feel like I overall did a great job especially because I don't do it often but I just had everything that I needed here with me this lotion from the nail salon and this cuticle oil I have always had and I always carry it around with me because I don't like my nails and my hands to look dry and so I will link everything that I am talking about in today's video down below and so let's see if my package has came from Amazon and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like hey y'all so I am back I had an appointment this morning at 9 30 and then after I came to Sephora's this Sephora that I came to is attached to a Kohl's and so it wasn't as crowded I was able to take my time and shop but they did not have some of the items that I wanted and I think that's the difference between going to an actual Sephora's store and going to a Sephora's store that's attached to another store and so this one is attached to Kohl's but I still ended up getting some goodies that I will show y'all decided to get the Fenty skin butter drop as I ran out I am really low this cream feel this cream feels really really good on my skin and it's a great moisturizer and then I also decided to get the milk hydro grip primer I have not used primer in a while I ran out and I was trying to think of a new one that I wanted to try and I have seen that the girlies have been using this one and so I got it in a travel size just to see if I like it how it dries up before I apply my makeup but I have not done my makeup in like two or three weeks because I am trying to get these dark spots cleared up before I start applying makeup as y'all can see my skin looks really really oily but I got those two items from out of support for us and since the store Kohl's is attached to it I decided to pick up Phoenix two Nike shirts that were on sale for $19.99 and I was just like you know what you can never go wrong with getting Nike shirts they last a long time so I got this one for him in the color white and I got this one for him in the color of gray which I know he's going to like I also need to go downtown because I need to figure out this girl's name I cannot find her on Instagram for the life of me so Jaden can make an appointment he wants to get his hair re-dyed for his birthday his birthday is in May I know I said I was going to show y'all my Stanley cups yesterday because I got a new one and so this is my white one that y'all seen in the beginning of the video and then this is my pink one and I know y'all are probably like why do you have two Stanley cups because I need to make sure I'm drinking enough water I feel like I have been getting so out of breath I don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated. I don't know what's going on, but I got both of them packed in the car. So when I run out of one, I won't have an excuse not to have water. And the price of water is just getting out of control. I can buy a case of 40 packs of bottled water, the Sani from Sam's for $5. Dollars, but when I go into a quick shop or a store, the bottled water be like two something, and so I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fill up my Stanley cups while I am at home, and um, and then so I'll have some water to drink while I'm out and about, and I won't have to pay for it, and put them both in my car. So I know it seems weird, but I wanted to show y'all um my Stanley cups, and so I'm gonna go ahead and continue this vlog. I'm gonna try to see if I can show y'all my entire outfit while I am, you know, going downtown or whatever the case may be, but I don't know how to really do that on camera just yet, and I am tall. I don't know if my tripod is going to act right based off of how tall I am, I don't know. Um, 
and then I'll continue this video because once I get home I want to show y'all the stand or the the entryway table that I got yesterday because it actually came as I was talking to y'all about me doing my nails and so I'm a go downtown try to show y'all my outfit and then get once I get home I'm gonna show y'all the entryway table but I am still solo dolo even though I was yesterday I am again today the kids are at school or whatever the case may be and I'm still off and so um, I hope y'all are liking this video so far and just tell me what y'all think and when was the last time you picked up something from Sephora's and what was it but I'm gonna continue this vlog and I hope y'all keep watching this video until the end now, so I just made it home I was able to go downtown and book Jaden's appointment it is on the 29th at 9 o'clock and I know he has school but I'm okay with him not going to school because he has straight A's and school is almost out but I also took some pictures and I wanted to do an outfit inspo with my actual camera but I didn't get a chance to so y'all make sure y'all go to my Instagram at Amelia G 5587 if you want to see like the real or you can go to my TikTok at Amelia Danielle 3 to watch the TikTok but this is my outfit I have on I'm gonna start from the bottom some black and white J's I got these from Foot Locker my pants slash jeans came from Fashion Nova they are a size 7 they are really really long y'all I am tall I am 5'11 and I actually had to cuff these at the bottom and roll them up basically and so if you are thinking about the length of them being too short they are perfect they are way past my ankles this shirt came from Amazon in the size of a large. My breast or my bra cup size is a 36C. Um, this purse on the front of it, it says fashion made me do it. I got this from the House of Rehab on Instagram. I also have a hat that I got from Amazon. Not really sure how I'm going to be able to show it to y'all, but again, check out my Instagram and my TikTok and you can see the full details. And then I got these shades on, which came from Shein. And so I kept it really simple, really basic. I put on a Pandora bracelet, my Apple Watch, and two other bracelets, and my initial necklace that I got from Truly Blessed. Now that I have showed y'all my outfit for today, I'm going to close out this video by showing y'all my entryway table and then I am going to eat because I'm starving. All I had today was a bagel and a banana and it is almost one o'clock and I need to eat and so I'm going to end this video with showing y'all my table. Y'all let me know what y'all think and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace!